When millions of dollars are at stake in a building project, preventing costly mistakes becomes a top priority. You must account for every aspect and contingency since you are bound by stringent time and cost limits. Whether you're constructing oil and gas refineries, power plants, or cutting-edge infrastructure, construction project management may help you do just that. Construction project management assists you in keeping the entire construction process effective and on track, from initiating and design to resource management, budget allocation, and more. Continue reading to learn how to get started with construction management right away. Now let us look into the agenda. Firstly, we shall see. What is construction project management? Then, we shall discuss the duties of construction project manager. Moving on, we shall see some of the construction project management basics. Furthermore, let us understand the importance of construction project management. Next, we shall look into the construction project management team. Moving on, we shall discuss construction project management process. Next, we shall get to know the role of project manager in construction management, and then we'll step into understanding six keys to effective construction project management. And finally, we will end the session by learning two case studies on construction project management. Sounds interesting, right? Now, without further ado, let us begin the session. What is construction project management? According to the Project Management Institute, PMI, project management is the art of directing and coordinating human and material resources throughout the life of a project by using modern management techniques to achieve predetermined objectives of scope, cost, time, quality, and participating objectives. PMI's concept can be extended to construction project management, in which a construction project manager employs the same methodology to achieve the same aim but in a construction setting. Construction project management entails coordinating and arranging each project life cycle phase from conception to completion. It's a comprehensive approach to completing projects on schedule and budget. Construction project management is a complicated profession that entails dealing with various issues, including cost control, scheduling, procurement, and risk assessment. From architects to owners to contractors, project managers deal with everyone involved in a building project. Construction management, in simple words, is the process of overseeing construction projects. However, when it comes to managing a construction project versus other sorts of projects, the main contrast is that construction is mission-driven. That is to say, the project's organization ceases when the project is completed. Working in the construction industry demands a broader view, as project management is typically defined as managing resources throughout a project's life cycle utilizing various tools and methods to regulate scope, cost, time, quality, etc. Construction management usually entails a broader set of constraints that are specific to the design and construction of construction projects. Construction project management may interact with a variety of disciplines during the life of a project, including architecture, engineering, public works, and city planning. Now that you guys are familiar with the word construction project management, we shall look into the duties of construction project manager. A good construction project manager should be familiar with all construction processes and procedures and be able to organize a team of specialists from many disciplines to obtain the best outcomes. In addition, an analytical mind and excellent organizational skills are required of the perfect candidate. The goal will be to ensure that all projects are completed on schedule, in accordance with specifications, and under budget. Some of the other roles and responsibilities include, but are not limited to, to develop the project specs, collaborate with engineers, architects, and others. To obtain profitable deals, negotiate contracts with external vendors. Obtain the necessary permits and licenses from the relevant authorities. Determine the resources required, human resources, equipment, and materials, from beginning to end while considering budgetary constraints. To guarantee that timelines are met, plan all construction operations and schedule interim phases. Acquire and maintain equipment and materials, as well as stock levels, in order to address any deficiencies as soon as possible. Assign responsibilities to contractors and other employees. Establish and specify the project's scope and deliverables. Estimate the amount of time and money it will take to finish the project. Obtain all required permits, approvals, and regulatory requirements. Prepare and propose a budget based on the scope of the project and the resources required. To stay inside budget, keep costs under control. Make decisions about contracts and subcontracts. Maintain control over the construction timeline and operations. Provide cost and timeframe progress updates as needed. 
Ensure that all work is completed in accordance with all applicable building and safety codes. Select and maintain connections with subcontractors and suppliers. Architects, designers, engineers, and subcontractors should coordinate their activities across the whole project. Once know the tasks performed by a construction project manager, it is now the right time to learn the construction project management basics. Working knowledge of general management and familiarity with the project-specific knowledge domain is required. Computer science and decision science, for example, may play a significant supporting role. However, in reality, several strategies or technologies that were originally associated only with supporting disciplines have been absorbed by modern management practices in various unique knowledge areas. Computer-based information systems and decision support systems, for example, are increasingly commonplace management tools. In addition, many operations research techniques, like linear programming and network analysis, are also increasingly widely applied in various knowledge and application disciplines. In construction, project management refers to a set of goals that can be met by carrying out a sequence of activities while adhering to resource restrictions. The stated objectives in terms of scope, cost, time, and quality may conflict with the limits imposed on human, material, and financial resources. These conflicts should be resolved at the start of a project by making the required choices or coming up with new solutions. When a project owner is ready to begin, he or she will distribute project details to many contractors, general contractors, or subcontractors to solicit bids. The process begins with a cost estimate based on drawings and material takeoffs, which informs the owner of the project's expected cost. There are three types of bids that a contractor can expect. Open bid, for public projects, open bids are frequently advertised. Any contractor can submit an offer in an open bid. Closed bid, a sealed bid begins the process for a private project, in which the owner invites a select group of contractors to submit proposals. The bids will come in whether the owner chooses an open or closed bid procedure for the project, and the selection of a contractor can begin based on a number of criteria. Low bid selection, the bottom line, aka the price, is the most important factor for the project owner. The contractor who submits the lowest bid for the project is the winner. Qualifications. Selection based on criteria, the project owner requests that contractors submit a request for qualifications, RFQ, with their proposal, which describes the contractor's experience, management strategies, organizational flow, and success in keeping on budget and on schedule. After that, the project owner selects the contractor with the finest credentials. Best value picking, in this method, the project owner evaluates the project's positive and negative aspects. After an owner has chosen a contractor, the next and last stage is to arrange a payment agreement. Both parties usually choose one of four payment options. Lump sum, the most common option is a lump sum contract. The project owner and the contractor agree on the total cost of the work, and the owner is required to pay that amount regardless of the project's success or whether the final bill exceeds the initial quote. Cost plus fee, Cost plus fee covers the total project cost as well as a fixed charge percentage of the overall cost to the contractor, both of which must be paid by the owner. Because it covers all additional expenditures, this is the most contractor-friendly solution. Guaranteed maximum price, with a guaranteed maximum cost, you can rest assured that you're getting the best deal possible. If the two parties are not able to agree on a cost ahead of time, they choose a unit price model, in which the owner pays a set unit price for each phase of the project. Now that we have discussed a few basics of construction project management, we shall see the importance of construction project management. Owners gain from good construction project management because it increases the chances of completing a project on time, on budget, and without financial or legal issues. Implementation management is a specialist project management service that oversees the planning, design, and construction of a project using specific project management techniques. Construction management is designed to optimize the best industry practices, prudent management decision-making, and effective and transparent project controls and reporting techniques. In contrast, project monitoring services grow over the life of the project. So, let us now discuss some of its importance. The first in the list is Time and money are saved. You can ensure that your project is completed on time and on budget by preparing ahead. Using project management approaches, for example, you may map your project's progress from the start and predict where delays, and projected expenditures, will occur, allowing you to allocate resources better, minimize delays, and avoid overusing the project. The next importance is Quality Assurance One of the most important aspects of completing a project successfully is maintaining quality standards. 
Typically, project stakeholders are under a lot of pressure to complete it, which pushes them to rush. But on the other hand, a construction manager will open the way to reaching the ROI while checking and controlling the necessary safety and quality standards. Next, improve resource management. Another way to get the most out of project management is to keep track of the resources involved. Even though resource management is inextricably tied to cost control and revenue forecasting, it demands unique attention. Inventory, equipment, expertise, and experience are some of the resources needed to complete the task. It is possible to see if the resource utilization corresponds to the initial estimations and if optimization is possible at this point. The allocation of resources is kept track of, assessed, and organized. These records can be kept and used to improve future initiatives. Next, we have Management of risk Risk management is a critical element in a construction project. Responsible managers must oversee all processes, identify and quantify all potential risks, develop a risk mitigation strategy, and be prepared to implement a contingency plan if necessary. In addition, a construction manager must deal with any hazards that arise and respond to them while keeping the rest of the crew and management informed. The last in the list, we have. Improve your business decisions. Clearer records of how your project progresses, where your resources are spent, what you need to prioritize, and when and if you are at risk of drifting off course may help you better understand. You can spot problems before they become problems, minimize bottlenecks, and make informed, data-driven decisions with good project management. The next topic of today's discussion is the construction project management team. Building design and construction projects can involve enormous groups of individuals, with big projects involving tens of thousands of workers. Moreover, the project team structure and composition tend to change over time. Some team members may only be involved for a short time, bringing specialist knowledge or supplying specialist components during a specific phase, whereas others, such as the client, project managers, or lead consultants, may be involved for many years. The first level includes C-level executives in construction project. The senior executives are involved in construction projects at their most critical stages. This involves work bidding, big picture budgeting, and contract execution. A minimum of 20 years of experience is required for C-level roles, but there are always exceptions. Next, we have Construction Project Manager. The project manager is responsible for ensuring that the day-to-day requirements are met. This applies to several aspects of the project. Project managers work with senior management to plan the project's short and medium-term objectives. Apart from such check-ins, project managers are also co-captains in executing these plans. Three next team member is Project Owner The project owner commissions and finances the project, either personally or indirectly. Furthermore, the owner oversees the project from a high level and makes key decisions such as setting the bidding process, appointing the contractor, and deciding on the project delivery strategy. The next team member is General Contractor A general contractor supervises the task site's daily operations and supplies the necessary equipment, materials, and people for the project's execution phase. In addition, subcontractors are frequently hired by general contractors to complete specific jobs. Next, Construction Superintendent The superintendent is the project manager's dance partner, it takes two to tango. This is because the project manager and superintendent have the same deliverable, managing and overseeing the day-to-day operations of a construction project while ensuring adherence to the project's schedule, budget, and quality standards. Now that you guys are aware of the construction management team, we shall discuss Construction Project Management Process The construction process is now over, and all parties engaged in the project must now work together to make it a reality. Regardless of its unique peculiarities, every project follows a typical life cycle. This structure can be broken down into the following stages. The first stage is Initiation The goal and viability of the project are determined during the first phase. This is a critical stage in the process because it can determine whether or not the project is a good fit. Next, a feasibility study is done if necessary, and a recommended solution or plan is offered based on the findings. One of the most crucial components of building project management is the start phase. It includes all of the stages that must be completed before a project can be approved and planning may begin. A project initiation document is generated once everything has been decided. Therefore, one of the most important items in project management is the project start document, which lays the framework for the construction plan. 
In most cases, there are three steps in the earliest design stage. Programming and feasibility, the planning team uses a feasibility study or business case to establish the project's objectives and aims. The scale of the building, how much space will be used, and how many rooms will be necessary are all decided at this point. A project initiation document is prepared once these decisions have been taken. Designing a schematic, the team creates a drawing of the environment, as well as materials, colors, and textures, during this stage. This information will be utilized to study the equipment and materials that will be used during the design process. Contractual papers include, the final drawings and specifications are contained in these publications. Those who place orders use these documents. The next stage is design. This is the second step of a construction project, and it signifies the start of the bidding process when it is completed. It's time to let your creative juices flow once you've decided on a project. The design process entails everything from the project's initial concept to comprehensive plans that depict the final design. Your design will vary from first sketches to finished drawings and specifications, but each iteration should fulfill the project's needs while keeping the timetable and expenses in mind. The owner selects a contractor based on finished designs in design bid build contracts. Next, an architect or engineer evaluates the design's practicality based on the building's regulations and codes, the number of rooms, the building size, and the quantity of space available. They then prepare schematic ideas or sketches after investigating the types of equipment and materials required and their costs. It's time to move on to the pre-construction phase once the design has been finished and approved. The third stage is pre-construction. Creating a roadmap to assist you through the construction process is part of pre-construction. It's all about creating a project game plan that outlines what needs to be done, when it is required to be done, how it should be done, and how much it should cost. If all stakeholders stick to the plan and execute their duties flawlessly, the project will be completed within the given time, to specification, and within budget. Pre-construction entails a wide range of important duties. The following are some of the most crucial. Define and distribute your resources. Make a series of mini-budgets. Make timetables and deadlines for yourself. Distribute responsibilities. Work breakdown structures, organization breakdown structures, and other tools can be used to map out work and activities. Pre-construction also includes risk assessment and contingency planning. Things rarely go as planned during a construction project, frequently owing to causes beyond your control. Therefore, project managers and stakeholders must be prepared for things to go wrong. You'll waste less time, money, and resources attempting to get back on track if and when problems occur if you're proactive. Coming to the next stage, we have Procurement Procurement is the process of locating, procuring, and delivering the products and services required to execute a project. To minimize unanticipated cost overruns to a minimum during this stage, procurement and supply chain managers should provide feedback during the planning stages. Because prices are subject to market fluctuations, some volatility is unavoidable. Therefore, you should factor this risk into your pre-construction planning to the greatest extent possible. Purchasing materials from local, regional, or worldwide markets have advantages and disadvantages. Local procurement doesn't take less time, but it may be more expensive, and less expensive materials moved over large distances are more likely to experience delays and supply chain disruptions. Conduct thorough research so that you can make the best decisions. Another important issue is when to do procurement. Rather than completing procurement before starting the building project, you can get the resources you need as the project advances to satisfy changing needs. While this technique adds flexibility, lowers holding costs, and protects cash, it also increases the danger of late shipments or shortages, which could impede the entire project. It also puts you at risk of price rises. Whatever technique you take, strive to align purchase orders with your construction timetable and plan for contingencies to keep your budget and schedule on track if things go wrong. And the final stage is construction. You've devised a strategy, everyone is aware of their responsibilities, and you have the necessary resources to get started. Construction can now begin. All of your planning and preparation pays off at this point, allowing the construction process to run smoothly and successfully. Of course, even the most extensive plans can't account for every glitch along the way, so it's critical to keep track of progress during this phase to stay on track. Change management comes into play when you need to modify due to changing conditions or aims. Project managers must adjust as needed while staying within the project's constraints. Check for a change management solution that can assist you in analyzing the impact of changes and reducing them. After understanding the construction project management process, we shall see.
the role of project manager and construction management. Even though each construction project's goals may differ, construction project managers ultimately want to produce structures that not only satisfy specifications and look beautiful but also gain new business. They are in charge of keeping the project on track, determining the parameters, budget, and timetable, vetting and managing subcontractors and other on-site personnel, resolving conflict, and more. Simply put, the project manager is in charge of a construction project's success. They are in charge of all aspects of the project, including planning, execution, monitoring, control, and closure. Project managers make certain that deadlines and budgets are met. It's also vital to maintain a positive client relationship throughout the process. A project manager is also in charge of overseeing the planning and execution of construction projects to ensure that they are completed according to specifications, on schedule, and on budget. You're reducing risk by hiring a project manager. With so many factors to consider before and after construction, the PM collaborates closely with engineers, architects, and others to achieve the best results. Now, we shall move future to understand the six keys to effective construction project management. The successful completion of a job in construction is achieved by good project management. It's no easy task to deliver a high-quality job on schedule and on budget while simultaneously making a profit for you and your subcontractors. It necessitates meticulous planning, accurate progress tracking, and communication and coordination among all primary stakeholders and team members. The first key is communication. Clear communication is one of the most crucial aspects of all sorts of project management. When it comes to construction project management, though, communication is critical at every stage of the process and, ultimately, to your project's success. When planning and implementing a build, it's critical to promptly communicate both good and bad news. That's why you need to build a communication flow with everyone, whether in the field or in the office. Then, when challenges develop, this transparency will make the process run more smoothly and reduce the number of emails and phone calls. The next key is planning. Detail and strategic planning are the most important aspects of successful building project management. A more intricate project will necessitate more planning. A well-planned project boosts efficiency and provides a step-by-step blueprint for completing the job on time and on budget. During the planning phase, you'll generate deliverables, define goals, and set project milestones. When planning a construction project, you must consider what equipment will be required, how much personnel will be required, how you will coordinate your subcontractors, and how you will ensure that all building materials are lined up and scheduled. In addition, developing a safety plan, a communication strategy, completing a risk assessment, and building a response plan are all things that need to be formed during the planning process. Next we have. Put the right team in place. You may begin constructing an effective project team once you have a solid plan in place. First, you'll need to match the correct abilities, talents, and personalities to the suitable project need as a project manager. Each team member should be clear about their responsibilities and what they are expected to deliver once they have completed them. The project leader plays an important role in project management. The greatest project managers foster positive team dynamics and serve as coaches and mentors to all team members. You'll also be the main point of contact for gathering feedback from the project team and key stakeholders, as well as obtaining their approval for any project adjustments. Finally, the finest project managers motivate their staff at all times, regardless of the situation. Then, collaboration. It takes more than everyone performing responsibilities on time to cooperate successfully. It entails establishing a trusting and respectful relationship with all stakeholders in order to collaborate and execute a project successfully. It is critical to be able to collaborate and coordinate activities in order to increase productivity. Part of this can be accomplished by implementing a solid communication strategy. Including key team members in the planning process can help improve teamwork. Problem solving and logistical ideas and knowledge are shared. Allocating risk to the parties best suited to deal with them can be an element of the collaborative process. Good communication and keeping everyone on the same page go hand in hand with collaboration. It is based on the assumption that all parties are trustworthy. The next key is always track. Don't think that everything is fine just because things are moving forward. At any point during the endeavor, there is the possibility of danger. Your project management experience with similar projects can aid you in decision-making, but even the most capable project manager requires assistance. Fortunately, there is a variety of cutting-edge construction technology available that can track all areas of a project and predict when danger is present and when corrective action is required. 
These technologies are helping to streamline the multiple project monitoring processes, from back-of-house construction management and accounting software to intuitive internet portals and collaborative data sharing platforms to state-of-the-art mobile applications. And the final one is business models for construction projects. Any company's business model is its foundation. It's what a company plan is all about. So, if you want to establish your own business, this is the first decision you'll have to make. However, with so many options, potential business owners may find it difficult to decide. General construction model. General construction is one of the most frequent forms of construction company models. You hire people to work on non-specialized building projects for individuals or businesses. You have the option of working alone or hiring a team. Flooring businesses, such as composite decking enterprises, maintenance support, and renovation and repair are examples of services within this paradigm. 2. Conceptual design. The final vision of the building serves as the beginning point for determining needs, goals, and objectives in this model. The size of the building, the number of rooms, how the space will be used, and even who will be using the space are all factors to consider. This data is usually kept in a spreadsheet that lists each room and crucial information about those spaces and the approximate square footage of each location. 3. Schematic Design Drawings or sketches identify spaces, shapes, and patterns in schematic designs. Of course, not every aspect of a construction project can be sketched, but those included in this design. Materials, colors, and textures are noted in the illustrations. These sketches can also depict floor plans and where structures such as elevators would be located. Now that we have understood some keys for effective construction management, we shall see. Construction Project Management Case Study Construction management is a procurement method in which a construction management company takes the role of a typical builder. Their job is to work directly for the client during the building phase's management. A construction manager is a professional with experience in construction and management, which the client hires to provide only management services. The construction manager organizes a series of trade contracts but enters directly between each trade contractor and the client to finish the task. Now, we shall move on and consider two construction management case studies. The first case study is Statue of Unity. As we all are aware, the Statue of Unity is the tallest in the world. Indian superior sculptor Ram Vanji Sutar designed this, supervised construction by a consortium constructing tumor construction project management, Michael Graves. The construction. The contract for this statute was given to Larson and Turbo. L&T completed the project successfully within 2 to 36 months with proper planning. Natural disasters, such as earthquakes and wind, caused significant building obstacles. The tunnel effect of wind sweeping down the river is supposed to be created by this statue of unity which is positioned in front of Narmada. However, after years of studying the wind pattern, researchers discovered that wind rates of 130 km per hour might buffet the statue under the worst-case scenario. To address this problem, the statue has been designed to endure winds of up to 180 km per hour. The issue in the monument's creation was not just the wind blowing against it but also the succession effect that occurs at the back of the statue. The structural design took this into account as well. Also, within a radius of 12 kilometers and a depth of 10 kilometers, the statue can now withstand earthquakes of roughly 6.5 on the Richter scale. The next case study is the Eiffel Tower. In June 1884, Eiffel's two chief engineers, Emile Nugier and Maurice Cochelin, conceived a very tall tower. It was to be built in the shape of a massive tower, with four columns of latticework girders that were to be divided at the base and linked at the top by other metal girders at regular intervals. The construction. The tower project was a dramatic expansion of this notion, reaching a height of 300 meters, or 1,000 feet, in symbolic terms. Eiffel filed a patent on September 18, 1884, for a new configuration allowing the building of metal supports and pylons capable of exceeding a height of 300 meters. The supports were put together on July 1, 1887, and were finished 22 months later. Eiffel's factory in Levelois Pere, on the outskirts of Paris, prepared all of the elements. Each of the 18,000 components needed to build the tower was meticulously designed and calculated, then traced out to a tenth of a millimeter accuracy before being assembled into new 5-meter long pieces. The 150 to 300 employees on-site erecting this massive erector set were overseen by a team of constructors who had previously worked on large metal viaduct projects. Concrete foundations support the upright set a few meters below ground level and are covered with compacted gravel. Each corner edge is supported by its supporting block which is pressed with 3 to 4 kilograms per square centimeter, 
and each block is connected to the others by walls. The builders employed waterproof metal caisson and compressed air to work below the river level on the same side of the project. Putting together a construction project is a huge undertaking. Therefore, numerous parameters and aspects need to be thoroughly examined. That is why it is critical to entrust your project management to construction management software, which will make your life easier while also allowing you to take your building plan to new heights. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. If this has spiked your interest and you want to know more about project management, I recommend you to opt for PMP certification training and clear the exam. At Invensys Learning, we provide certification training courses for various project-related courses, such as Project Management Professional, PMP Certified Associate in Project Management Project Management Fundamentals Agile Certified Practitioner, PMIACP Agile Prime Minister Certifications Take your project management journey to the next level by getting PMP certified. Invensys Learning has been reviewed and approved by the PMI Authorized Training Partner Program to provide four days of online instructor-led PMP certification training. Post-enrollment, you will get lifetime access to a personalized learning management system. LMS has all the class recordings, class, webinar links along with assignments and case studies to practice. All classes are instructor-led delivered by trainers with rich domain experience. Check out the description below for more information. Also, if you guys have any queries, do drop them in the comment section.